Yeah, Destiny, that big update you mentioned, it remains were found, clothes were found. However, those remains have not been identified by JSO at this point. They're still working on that. That was the work of several weeks worth of searching, particularly today, which you're looking at as a very dark uh, parking lot behind me here as things wind out the quality in. But this whole area was just full of tents, a large search party out here. You had JSO out here as well, trying to find any answers they could uh, to, to find uh, McNamee. We just, we just need to find John. We need to, we need to get him. 4,000 miles. That's how far Caroline Doran traveled to continue the search for her brother, John McNamee, who disappeared at the end of May. She and several of John's relatives flew in Wednesday and spent several hours of Saturday in the woods behind the Quality Inn on Airport Road looking for any clues. It's not easy, but, you know, you just get that drive every time you that you're going to find him, you're going to find him. John's Jeep was found at the inn at the end of May, and his Irish family has flown over on multiple occasions the past month and a half to scour the woods behind it. The woods run about a half a mile behind the inn and a half a mile wide as well. Now, police started at the back half, while John's family and several other concerned community members formed a search party at the front half. We're, we're overwhelmed with the people that has turned out today uh, on the ground here to help us search, and uh, we would take this opportunity to thank them very much. That search started at 8 in the morning, but was wrapped up in just a few hours as police asked the team to leave the woods so they could take over the investigation. Caroline is hoping that by the time they fly back to Ireland, they'll be able to go with the answers they've been searching for for six weeks, not just for themselves, but for the two daughters John loved so much. He really ideally would have wanted to be back home in Ireland, but um, the children was keeping him here. He just loved the girls and he lived for his family. So perhaps a little bit of closure for McNamee's family tonight. However, they are still uh, looking for a little bit of information. He was last seen May 25th at a gas station on Pecan Park Road at night. Then his car was found here May 26th the following morning. So that gap of hours there. The family is still trying to figure out what exactly happened there and, and McNamee's whereabouts in between there. So if you have any information on that, they're asking that you reach out with that. And also JSO right now urging anyone with information about the remains that were found today or about those clothes that were found today to contact Crime Stoppers. You can see that number right now here at the bottom of your screen. And they're going to continue investigating this case. On the north side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.